Ladies and gentlemen, let me begin by thanking the China Daily for the invitation. It is indeed a great pleasure for me to join you at this cloud event shortly after the 20th National Congress of the Communist Party of China. The topic for our discussion today, Path to Progress, Chinese Modernization, does carry considerable significance. Development has been the timeless theme for human society, and modernization represents an important hallmark of the development and progress of human civilization. In his report to the 20th National Party Congress, General Secretary Xi Jinping made reference to the term modernization in more than 80 instances and gave a systematic exposition of the unique features and essential requirements of China's modernization. With strategic plans and major principles clearly defined for building China into a great modern socialist country in all respects, this constitutes a new contribution to the unremitting efforts of humanity to explore paths towards modernization. China's modernization goes beyond copying others. It is an independent path to development. For modernization, there does not exist a single definitive model. Copying mechanically is not the solution. China's modernization is socialist modernization pursued under the leadership of the Communist Party of China. It contains elements that are common to the modernization processes of all countries, but it is more characterized by features that are unique to the Chinese context. It has broken down the stereotyped thinking of equating modernization with westernization, proving irrefutably that developing countries are capable of independently treading the path to modernization that works. On the new journey, the Communist Party of China will work unswervingly to advance China's modernization. We will, under no circumstances, engage in the export of models or in asking other countries to copy China's practice. Based on the principles of independence, complete equality, mutual respect, and non-interference in each other's internal affairs, the Communist Party of China stands ready to strengthen exchanges and cooperation with political parties and organizations of other countries. In turn, all countries and nations will be able to develop first and foremost with their own strength and to maintain a firm grasp on the futures of their own development and progress. All countries can excel in finding the path to modernization compatible with their own national conditions. China's modernization goes beyond the notion of supremacy of capital. It is the people-first path to development. Putting people first has been an invaluable experience of the Chinese Communist Party over the course of a century of endeavor. China's modernization is aimed at seeking happiness for all the Chinese people. By staying committed to taking its root in the people, ensuring the principal status of the people, and drawing strength from the people, it has risen above the old rut towards modernization that is capital-centered, polarizing, and inflated with materialism. By staying committed to the philosophy of sustainable development, it has discarded the grow-now, clean-up-later approach and put paid to the alienated model of killing the goose that lays the golden eggs and draining the pond to get the fish. The commitment of China's modernization thus lies in building a beautiful homeland for man and nature to live in harmony. On the new journey, the Chinese Communist Party of China will continue to strive for the people's aspiration for a better life with special emphasis on promoting common prosperity for the entire Chinese people. Meanwhile, our focus will be placed on the well-being of not only the present generation, but also generations to come. 
By doing so, it will be ensured that modernization better serves the fundamental interests of the overwhelming majority of the people. China's modernization goes beyond the notion of putting one's own country first. It is a path to development that pursues common prosperity for all. The modernization we pursue does not seek out outward expansion, nor attempt to confine other countries to the lower end of industrial chains. Instead, our modernization is underpinned by openness, inclusiveness, and win-win cooperation geared towards creating more opportunities with our own development for the whole world. We firmly oppose hegemonism and power politics in any form, as well as the imposition of fences and barriers, decoupling and disruption of industrial and supply chains. China is willing to augment the input of resources in global development cooperation so as to narrow the north-south gap and support and help other developing countries grow even faster. The Communist Party of China will continue to strengthen the communication of ideas and policy dovetailing with political parties worldwide and work and actively to promote solid progress in belt and road cooperation and extensive implementation of the Global Development Initiative and the Global Security Initiative. What we do together will ensure that successful modernization will deliver even greater and better benefits to people of all countries around the world. China's modernization goes beyond the notion of cultural superiority. It is a path to development that promotes the progress of humanity. Despite differences in the color of skin and language, human beings are by no means superior or inferior to one another in their civilizations. All civilizations contain common values that transcend time and space. By integrating the scientific truth of Marxism with the great civilization of the Chinese nation and incorporating the fine achievements of world civilizations, China's modernization represents the organic combination of traditional culture and modern civilization and that of national civilization and world civilization. A new type of integrated development of civilizations has thus come into being. On the new journey, our party is willing to join hands with political parties worldwide to promote humanity's shared values of peace, development, fairness, justice, democracy, and freedom. Let us draw on each other's strength and transcend the so-called civilizational hierarchy as we work together to advance modernization with our respective futures and develop a new form of human advancement. With our efforts, a new dynamic of exchange and mutual learning among different civilizations under the same time and space circumstances shall emerge, and we shall pull more wisdom and strengthen for the building of a human community with a shared future. Ladies and gentlemen, at present, momentous changes unseen in a century are accelerating across the world. The future of modernization is bright, but we still have a long way to go. In China, we have an old saying which reads, the going can be tough when one works alone, but things will be easier when people work together. In the same vein, there is an English proverb which goes, united we stand, divided we fall. Let us unite and work together to explore the path to modernization compatible with our respective national conditions to open new horizon for humanity's path to modernization. What we do together will enable the giant ship of world development to break out of the shadow of high winds and choppy waters and sail towards our common future of gentle breeze and bright sunshine.